It's Professor Dave. Let's do another round of verb conjugation. He knows a lot about all kinds of stuff. Professor Dave explains. We've gone through the first and second conjugations, which include verbs ending in A-R-E and E-R-E. So we may as well wrap things up and go through the third conjugation, which includes verbs ending in I-R-E. When we talk about these verbs, we can't generalize like we did with the other conjugations. Instead, the third conjugation verbs are divided into two large groups. The first group will conjugate similarly to the second conjugation, but the other group will add a special infix, or a group of letters, within the word. Let's call these groups pattern A and pattern B, and try one example from each. Dormire, which means to sleep, will conjugate as follows. Io dormo. Tu dormi. Lei dorme. Noi dormiamo. Voi dormite. Loro dormono. For pattern B, we can conjugate capire, which means to understand. Io capisco. Tu capisci. Lui capisce. Noi capiamo. Voi capite. Loro capiscono. As you'll notice, pattern A is not much different from how we would conjugate a verb in the second conjugation with the only difference being that the second person plural ends in I-T-E rather than E-T-E. But pattern B shows something a bit unprecedented. A group of letters, I-S-C, is placed between the base of the verb and ending in all forms except first and second person plural. This is normal and it does not make capire an irregular verb. This is just how regular verbs from this group will be conjugated. Unfortunately, there is no indication in the infinitive as to which group a verb in the third conjugation will belong to, so we simply have to memorize them. Again, these become easy to remember with more repetition, but let's go through some common verbs from each group now. In pattern A, we have Sentire, partire, seguire, aprire, servire, soffrire. In pattern B we have finire. Pulire, preferire, costruire, dimagrire, tossire, punire. Let's try some of these in a sentence. Se hai caldo, apri la finestra. Mi piace il tè, ma preferisco il caffè. I bambini puliscono la loro camera. You've got the idea, so let's check comprehension. Thanks for watching guys. Subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Support me on Patreon so I can keep making content. And as always, feel free to email me, ProfessorDaveExplains at gmail.com.